What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness and today in this video I want to talk about uh, the martial arts and fitness channels that I follow personally, okay? Um, so before I get started, take a second to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, here at OG Fitness, all I talk about is fitness for martial artists, uh, you know, and of course, um, for mostly older guys, right? Uh, that's what the OG stands for, a smart, sustainable, and more functional approach to, uh, you know, to fitness and martial arts. So let's get into it. So recently, not that recent, but um, I made two videos uh, criticizing um, some, some YouTubers, right? Uh, there was Master Wong that I criticized. I wasn't really mean about it, but anyways, I, I criticized him nonetheless. And I also criticized Dan Locke. He's actually a, a, uh, a business uh, YouTuber type of guy, you know, talks about how to make money and shit. But he, he made some, um, uh, some, some videos about uh, Jeet Kune Do because he's a fan of Bruce Lee's and he practices that. So I, I made videos criticizing him also. But you know what? Um, I thought about it and it's, it's one thing to criticize, but I think at the same time, it's good to point out to the guys who, are, who, uh, who I'm a fan of, who do really good shit, who have really good content and uh, who are very, I find, interesting people to, uh, to listen to. So... Um, off the top of my head. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I watch a lot of YouTube videos, so I'm registered, I'm subscribed to a lot of channels, right? Because I want to see what the guys are doing. At the same time, it's entertaining. It gives me ideas too. And, uh, you know, sometimes it sparks ideas for videos and, and, uh, and conversations and, um, and stuff like that, okay? So I follow a lot of guys. That being said, the ones at the moment that I, that I watch the most, okay? And that really like pop out in my head. Not to say that the other guy, like there's a lot of good guys out there, right? In terms of fitness and in martial arts, right? But these are the ones that really, you know, that I've been watching uh, recently a lot. And at the same time are just stuck in my mind, okay? So let's start with martial arts. Martial arts, um, TriStar Gym channel. Um, okay, TriStar Gym is the gym where uh, George St. Pierre, uh, you know, trains out of. Okay, so the channel is, um, is hosted by the head coach, Faraz Zahabi. I find uh, the man's very knowledgeable, has a lot of experience. So, and he, he talks about a wide uh, variety of subjects all con that all has to do with, you know, fitness and martial arts also, right? And um, super interesting guy. I think the guy is, uh, is fascinating. So, I listen to him uh, uh, quite a bit. Not as much recently because, I you know, sometimes you stay on one person for a while, then you find someone else, and then you come back to them and so on. But I would recommend that channel to anybody, right? Uh, Fight Tips, Shane Faison. I think he's great. I, I love this channel because he, he knows what he's talking about. Like uh, anybody who, um, uh, like because I, I've, I've practiced uh, boxing, Taekwondo, you know, bo uh, kickboxing. Oh, okay, no, sorry, not kickboxing, but Muay Thai and stuff like that. So I have like a basic grasp, but, but he's more advanced though. You know, he, he really, he's a, he's a, I think he's, he's, more, he's a striker. Like he specializes in, in striking, you know, and he's had fights, uh, I've met her fights and, and stuff like that. So um, I'm not sure if he had any pro fights, but anyways, he's legit. Like you could tell by uh, the way he talks, the way he moves, the way he hits the bag, the way he shows his stuff. Like he knows what he's talking about and uh, it's really great. And also he's very open-minded. So he's all, he seems to be constantly learning and developing his own skill set, which is really cool. And I'm not sure if he comes Pete still, but I think he might have been preparing a competition last I, I checked. So I really like his channel. It's really cool. A lot of useful information there, and the guy's totally legit, so I watch him too. Um, okay, so moving on. Uh, Ramsey Dewey. It's, um, I discovered this guy recently, and I just like his style and his philosophy. You know, he's a very calm guy talks with like a very deep voice, but very soothing. So you listen to him and you're like, ah, oh, yeah, this guy probably knows what he's talking about. But then if you keep listening, you realize, wait a second, he actually know he, he does know what he's talking about. He's also, he has a, uh, a gym in Shanghai, China, MMA gym, and he's also a, a MMA fighter himself. So I find his perspective is um, super interesting. Um, very thoughtful uh, in his approach, very smooth, okay? Unlike me, where I cuss a lot and shit, and I'm uh, very, um, 
a little bit emotional about it sometimes and I'm, I'm half you know fucking around and I'm half serious too you know so anyways so I think his channel is great if you guys um, have a second go check his shit out definitely uh, and another person that I, I fell on to recently is uh, I'm looking down because I have my little list here uh, okay um, so Quan Kicker so turns out this guy's been on YouTube forever and big 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 following very nice guy um, Obviously, and, and uh, he, he's actually buddies with uh, Shane, uh, Shane Faison from Fight Tips. And this guy, yeah, you, you see some videos of him training and even some videos of him like uh, in, 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 in a professional uh, Muay Thai fight and stuff like that. And the guy's legit, man. He's, uh, he knows how to kick. He knows how to punch. His specialty, of course, is striking. And um, I enjoy his talks. He has a very uh, interesting perspective and outlook. And, and, you know, just the way he analyzes things, I think it's, it's great. And... Um, so yeah, I, I enjoy his channel too. I started uh, listening to him uh, recently. Um, so now, one last one for uh, the martial arts thing, the martial art, uh, martial arts world, so to speak. Uh, Chu Jitsu. So this is a um, a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu guy. He has his own gym. Uh, I forgot where it's it's located, but he has a beard. A lot of people say he looks like Dan Bilzerian, <laughs> and they joke to him that, oh look, Dan Bilzerian does BJJ now. Anyways, I think this guy. Super cool guy, uh, knowledgeable, of course. Um, you know, he talks a lot about, uh, ex you know, his experiences, you know, like, and and all sorts of things. That's all jujitsu related, okay? So I find his channel to be really interesting. So there's probably a whole bunch more that I, that don't come to mind at this moment, but this is just a quick list, right? And, okay, so now let's move on to the fitness side because I'm, I'm also really into fitness and, and stuff like that. For those of you guys who don't know, I'm pretty much done. I just had the, the exam to pass, which um, I consider just a formality because I know I'm going to ace it, right? Um, for my personal training certificate that I did at the YMCA Fit, and I think that's what I'm going to do from now on to, uh, to make a living, right? Is to go train people because it's just, it just goes hand in hand with... Uh, with judo, grappling, and, and you know martial arts, because that's what I believe. I believe that uh, to be the best martial artist you can be, you have to be fit. So now, all right, so fitness. The number one resource that for me personally is Athlean X, okay, by uh, the host is Jeff Cavalier. The guy's, uh, he has, I think, a, a master's in sports science. He was, he's a physiotherapist also, works for the New York Mets. I think it's a baseball thing. I'm sorry, guys, but... But all I care about is fighting. So if it doesn't involve fighting, even though I, I, sports in general is very, I, con I consider it to be very good for society and for people and blah, blah, blah. Uh, but I don't actually follow any other sports. And a lot of times, like, I'll, I'll know the general rules of it, but I won't know all the details of all the rules. And it's just because I don't care about any other sports. Okay, so I digress. Jeff really knows what he's talking about. Physiotherapist, master's in sports science. The guy is fucking ripped. And uh, of course, when he shows you the exercises, he's all about putting the science back into, you know, um, working out, right? So he's not just a meathead who just, you know, tells you to lift heavy weights and shit like that and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, because you could get a away with a lot of things with just hard work, even if you're not doing the exercises right. But what happens is that as time goes by, you're going to accumulate muscle imbalances and injuries. And um, that's it. You're going to fuck yourself up. So I think that if you watch this guy's channel, it, it really helps to understand what exercises you should do, what you shouldn't do, and he explains you why too. So super interesting, super legit. The guy's ripped as fuck. He's like at 5% five, 5 body fat, man. So it's amazing. And he, he's year-round like that, right? So it, it's nuts. I think I might actually buy his fucking um, uh, his program. Uh, you know, because I just want to see, man, like the guy really has my interest, even though at this point I'm able to, to program and, uh, I understand all the, the principles of training and stuff like that. Uh, that's my dog. You guys can see him. He's just passing by. Sorry about that. So, but still, this guy is much more advanced. I just started out, even though I do have a lot of baggage and a lot of, uh, I'm very, uh, curious about, Mm, you know the subject of fitness strength and 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 recovery and and all of that you know but still uh, there's a lot to be learned from this guy so i definitely recommend his channel okay moving on chris jones yeah uh from pump chasers bodybuilding dude 
Uh, he's been on, on YouTube for a while now, and uh, it, it's, it, it's really nice to see his progression. When he started off, his videos were kind of like mine's right now. Basically, uh, you know, the quality wasn't all there. Yeah, the video editing and all that shit. So it was kind of like basic, basic video. But I mean, this guy with the strength of his personality alone. And of course, like you can see the progression in his body. Like, wow. He's really fun to listen to. Uh, I think he definitely knows his shit. And uh, the proof's in the pudding. Look at his body, you know. And uh, also, he's really entertaining, man. He's creative as fuck. He cusses like me, but he's much, much funnier. So I definitely think you guys should check him out. And, um, oh, another channel. There's two more, okay? So it won't be long. This video is running a little bit long. But I just want to get this off, uh, these these last two here. And... Um, so another one is uh, Strength strength Sensei, right? Now this is from Charles uh, Poliquin. Now Poliquin died recently, so yeah, it was a big, uh, a big loss to the, um, to the fitness world, okay? Because he was a very, very big name. And this guy trained, I think, uh, in over 23, 24 uh, Olympic sports. And he had over, I don't know, I think if I'm not mistaken, like 800 medals. Not to his name, but to his athletes' names, to the, to the, to the athletes that he trained. So he's super impressive, super knowledgeable, uh, kind of a hard ass from, <laughs> from what I could tell. But at heart, I think a very nice guy. Um, so his channel is still online. Uh, he still has a website, so it's run by a Polycon group. So I guess, you know, his, his partners, his associates, his family and stuff like that, they're still uh, going about it. But his videos are super interesting too. I think there's a lot to be learned about this um, from this guy, even though unfortunately he's not here anymore. But hey, you know the videos remain, the books remain, um, all of that, a lot of that, a lot of that shit on YouTube and on the internet. So I think definitely uh, to check it out, you know. And it's not like if you're gonna be able to finish all of his content in like uh, like a week, you know. It takes you. He has enough content to keep you going for a little while. And um, last but not least. Brandon Carter, uh, King Keto. I love this guy. His uh, his sense of humor, the way he talks, and um, you know he's uh, he's you know he's jacked. He's jacked, and uh, he doesn't eat any carbs, so it's kind of interesting. He's really funny, and I think he has a way of explaining things that are that are fun and cool, entertaining, and um, yeah, I definitely enjoy his channel a lot, so I watch a lot of his shit. And he's very inspirational also, I find. You know, very very good at motivating, inspiring people. And um, yeah, man. So those are the... Uh, that's it. That's the list of all the guys that I, I watch. I'll put a link down below so that you can you know go check it out directly. But uh, I just wanted to make this video to at least um, put out some positive energy and vibes uh you know out there for you guys because you know like sometimes we criticize and um of course it could bring more views and shit like that but i don't know man you do that long enough like it comes back to to haunt you and stuff like that even though i don't think i was uh i was uh criticizing them in a in a how do you say it um bullying mean harsh kind of way but still Hey, you criticize, you have to um, live with it or take the video off. And since I don't think that the videos that I, I, uh, I where I criticize uh, Master Wong and <laughs> and Dan Locke, I don't think they're that uh, they're that bad. So I just left them on there for you guys to enjoy. But anyways, it's not really my style to go after people uh, in a mean kind of way. You know, I still think that it's important to 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 talk about to 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 have opinions and and I feel it's my responsibility. If I see something really funny. Uh, you know that I really don't agree with, and I feel that's dangerous for other people. Then I think it's it's uh, it's a good thing, and it's my responsibility to like uh, for for my viewers anyway. Not that I have a lot at this point, but it doesn't matter. You know, I appreciate every single one of you, uh, all 26 at this moment. So yeah, guys, thanks. So um, but it, I like to point out what I really don't agree with, and then I explain my logic behind it. Now, in the comments sometimes, like, if people will comment and they say shit like, um, if, they, if, they, if they disagree with me, it's okay. We're all allowed to have our own opinions. And if they disagree and they put down a comment there, and um, we can, I'll answer the comment if, if they're not just people, if I, if I see that the person is open, in a sense, you know? Because, listen, the mind is like a parachute. 
if it's not open, it doesn't work. Okay, so Charles Poliquin said that, by the way. So um, if, if I notice that some guy is not open about, uh, you know, he posts a comment, but I could see he's very close-minded or he's just, you know, trolling, then of course I'm not going to answer that because there's no point, okay? But if it's, if it's somebody who um, has, a diff we ha that has a different opinion and that's, you know, stating their case and stuff like that, and then I see that there's actually a discussion that can be had, then yes, I'll answer, the, I'll, I'll answer them in the comments or I'll make a video about it. And then, yeah, we could talk about it and stuff like that. You know, we all have different experiences. You know, I don't know. Um, nobody, nobody has the ultimate truth, so to speak, you know, when it comes to uh, fitness and, and martial arts. It's constantly evolving, you know. Some things work, some things don't. Some things work for some people. Some things don't work for, for others and, and so on. So um, that's it. I hope you guys take a second to check out those uh, the links that I put below for my the martial art guys, uh, YouTubers, and the fitness uh, YouTubers that I follow. Check them out. Keep an open mind. These guys, I love these guys, the ones that I mentioned. There's a lot of other guys, but I mean, if I were to name every single buddy, right, it would take forever. This video would last an hour or more. So nobody has an hour to be watching this shit. Uh, so that's it. And... Uh, as we go along and I dis as I discover like interesting channels and interesting uh, about fitness and martial arts, I'll post it here and uh, I'll, I'll keep you guys updated on what, uh, what I'm listening to. And by the way, I have a competition this weekend again. Uh, two weeks ago, I had the other one. I actually came in first place. I was really happy about that. Remember, I was, I'm 39 years old. And I went up there and I, I beat a bunch of 20 year olds, 20 something, you know. So yeah, man, it just goes to show that if you train uh, smart, train hard, maintain yourself and concentrate um, on incremental progress, yeah, you could get really far and you can, uh, you can stay strong and contest with younger guys for a very long time. Okay, that's it for this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Uh, if you can, it helps me out and, you know, maybe it could help out somebody, uh, a friend or uh, a family member that's uh, interested in this kind of uh, shit also. All right, guys. Peace. See you in the next video.